Hi everyone, and welcome along to today's video. This one concerns a comment that someone made a little while back about the quality of the picture of my videos going down a bit. They're not been as good as they have been. Uh, I have to confess the camera did get dropped, uh, which didn't help matters much. And uh, to that end, I've decided it was about time to renew the camera as it's getting quite old. And I had a look round. And I've come up with this one, which I really like the look of, which I bought. It's the Sony VZ1. Here it is in a closer look, and what I like about it, lovely small size, and lovely wide aperture. As you can see there, 1.8, lovely wide. Not much zoom on it, it's very slow, but I don't actually need zoom on these V-blog type videos. Now this camera is made specifically for video rather than photography. It does do photographs still but it's mainly about doing video. So let's have a little look at the back of it. I'll turn it around and there's a normal sort of scene there. Now one interesting thing about this one and I'll show you is that this can happen with the viewing screen. Here is the screen, normal thing. Looking back away from the lens, but what's good is for us vloggers is that we often turn the camera around to face us, and a lot of times you think you push the button and you haven't recorded a thing, <laughs> it hasn't quite engaged, something's gone wrong, and a uh, catastrophe has happened. What's good about this one is a, a really good, handy thing. So I can get the front of this and turn it around, and now I can turn the whole camera around and face yours truly looking at the camera so there we are I'm, I'm here at the background somewhere there I am yep okay and you can see that that's what the camera is so I can now kind of make sure that the thing is actually working another thing that was very important a big miss uh, was that when you uh, push the record button you, you didn't get an indication that it was actually recording sometimes and like I say sometimes it wouldn't quite engage the button and you record a great big long sequence only to find you've recorded nothing but with this one if I push the record button button there you can see now that I get a lovely red light there you can see it with the camera flashing away well it's not flashing actually it's steady <laughs> to tell me that we're actually recording something so that's great now there's lots of great features for this camera but one of the, the good ones that I really like I, I think a vlogger really needs it is the capability to blur the background out and uh, the broken switch they call it I don't know why they call it bokeh but it sounds like broken doesn't it but it's the ability to blur the background out so I kind of put my hand over there I mean at, at the moment it's, it's got a three folks on my hand but you can see the background has kind of gone out I'll get myself in the picture and I'll come round here um, hey guys, there I am, and it should focus on me. It takes special look to look kind of into the eyes and get the focus dead right on eyes, which is really, really good. One of the fantastic things about it, and for all you ladies out there, it's got a really good soft skin tone uh, effect. It really kind of gets in on the, the skin tone thing and softens it down. So I don't need anything like that. I'm Good looking enough without all that, you know. But uh, <laughs> joke. What I'm going to do here, just show you the difference between this camera and this one. I'm, I'm going to record uh, on the new one at the HD setting, the same 1020p as this camera is that I'm filming on. And uh, we'll swap over, and you can see the difference between the two. Here then is the new Sony, and uh, here's a little look at my garden. Uh, late August so it's not looking quite as good as it usually does but never mind it's uh, still good give an idea of the camera and what it's capable of and there's a little mo having a little sleep down there I'll zoom in I say it's not a lot of zoom on here it's very very small but uh, at least there's a bit of zoom there it's only about two or three mag so there you are but I say don't tend to need that so not required Anyway, there we are. I just thought I'd give you a short sort of interval to this camera. I'll just go through some of the things that it can do once more. Here's the blurb on the website, as you can see there. Usual thing, I mean, you know, and the, the kind of things I was talking to you about. It catches on to your eye and will automatically go in on it. And also you can do the bokeh switch for a professional touch. You can leave it on so it's like that, or you can remove it and put it back so everything's in focus. Also, as you can see there, it has even better audio than normal. 
uh, it's always got a three directional capsule mic so it's really clear of sound right in front of the camera uh, it does come with this little muff which I haven't put on uh, I'm not keen on it but I guess when it's windy it will be a good idea the other good thing of course is that you have got a mic jack in this one so I can put in a better microphone so if it's windy condition I need to talk outside for some reason I can at least talk directly into a mic with a proper muck proper muck? a proper, <laughs> proper muff <laughs> a little bit more on the site there all the things that it can actually do quite expensive I'm afraid yes that is that price tag there ouch <laughs> and as I say it does take really good pictures still as well a few more details there on the site uh, of all its capabilities so there you are made for vlogging so it should be just a job for me. And as I say, whenever I can get a 4K video out there, if I can get through it without uh, any editing, or I'll find some software that will actually work for me on my slower computer, um, I will do 4K vids. So anyway, for now, this is just a standard 1080p one, just so you can see the quality of the camera. Okay, that's it from me then. All future videos will be on this one. Hopefully we'll have a lot better quality videos in future not that content isn't always brilliant of course <laughs> we'll see you next time next video on okay thanks for watching guys bye bye